Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to add events to HTML elements in JavaScript. There are many different ways in which we can add events to HTML elements in JavaScript. Let's have a demo and understand step by step. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to adding events in JS. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to adding events in JS. I go back to the code. Here in the body section, I am going to create a paragraph opening P, closing P. Inside that, I put the text paragraph text. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see paragraph text is displayed. Now what I want, when I click on this paragraph text, it should change to clicked. When I click on the paragraph text, it should change to clicked guys. For that, I need to add an event to this paragraph. As I told, there are many different ways in which we can add events to HTML elements in JavaScript. One way is using the event as a HTML attribute guys. So what I do here, I say on click. On click is an event. I am using it as an attribute. I am using it as a HTML attribute. And then I say here equal to, in double quotations, I say change text. I am calling the change text method from JavaScript. Of course, I have to create this method guys. For that, I say here opening script tag and then I say here closing script tag. Then I say type is equal to text or JavaScript. Inside that, I am going to create a function. I say here function, function name change text, opening closing flower bracket. When I click on this paragraph, change text function from JavaScript is executed guys. Here. I need to get the reference to this paragraph first. So what I do, I am going to give an ID here. I say ID of first P. And then I am going to create a variable here. I say var first P is equal to document dot get element by ID in double quotations. I say first P. What I am telling, get the element whose ID is set to first P. So this paragraph id is set to first p we get the reference to this paragraph in this variable guys now onwards first p points to this paragraph i say here first p dot inner html should be equal to clicked semicolon understand what happens when i click on this paragraph change text method or function is called from javascript what happens here this statement will get executed it gets the element whose id is set to first p so this element id is set to first p so first p variable points to this paragraph guys and i am telling inner html means content content of first p should be equal to clicked guys so if i save this go to browser and reload when i click on this you see that paragraph text is changed to clicked i refresh if i click on it the paragraph text is changed to click guys. So this is a one way of adding events to HTML elements in JavaScript using the event as attribute, HTML attribute guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood this code. Let's understand the second way guys. I delete this, save it, go to browser and reload. Let's go back and create the paragraph again. I say here opening P, closing P. Inside that I put the text paragraph text i save it go to browser and reload we got paragraph text if i click on this nothing happens what i want when i click on the paragraph text it should change to click guys so for that i am going to use the second way what i do here i give an id i say here id of first p i am identifying this element uniquely by giving an id of first p next i say here opening script tag closing script tag then I say here type is equal to text or JavaScript. Then I am going to access this HTML element in JavaScript. I say here where first P is equal to document 
dot get element by id in double quotations i say first p i am telling get the element whose id is set to first p this paragraph id is set to first p its reference is stored in this variable first p guys now onwards first p points to this paragraph now i am going to add the event to this how is i say here first p dot on click we can use the event as a property of the object guys so this is another way of adding events to html elements in javascript i am telling first p dot on click it's a event equals to this function should get executed this is an anonymous function i am assigning anonymous function here i am telling this dot inner html equal to in double quotations i say clicked semicolon this points to first p guys okay we know that in every function there will be a variable called as this which always points to the current object with which we are working so this indicates first p so content of first p should be clicked if i save this go to browser and reload if i click on this you see the text is changed to clicked i refresh i click on this you can see text is changed to clicked guys so there are many different ways one way is using the event as a html attribute or using the event as a property of the object we can see here this dot inner html clicked or as we have the reference to first p we can simply say here first p dot inner html equals to clicked this is also fine guys if i save this go back and refresh if i click on this you can see the content is changed to clicked if i click again the content is changed to clicked guys so what is happening when the code is executed first we are getting the reference to the paragraph to the paragraph we are adding on click event when we click on the paragraph automatically this function will get executed paragraphs content changes to clicked guys so this is one more way guys now let's understand the third way of adding event to html elements here again i say opening p tag closing p tag and then i say here paragraph text i save this go to browser and reload you can see we got paragraph text displayed if i click on this nothing is happening if i click on this it should change to clicked now again i am going to give an id to it first p i am identifying this paragraph uniquely by giving an id first p and then i say here opening script tag closing script tag and then i say type is equal to text or javascript first i get the reference to the paragraph i say here var first p equal to document dot get element by id in double quotations i say first p i am telling get the element whose id is set to first p this element id is set to first p so we get the reference in this variable guys next i am going to say here first p dot add event listener in javascript we have a function called as add event listener guys using this also we can add events to html elements so i am saying here add event listener first parameter will be the event name guys and here we don't write on click okay we just write click we just write the event name click in double quotation comma then we mention the function which should be executed so here i say change text is a function which should be executed when i click on the first p so here i am going to create that function again function change text bracket bracket opening floor bracket closing floor bracket and you can see that i am not using brackets here i am just giving the function name that's it now what i do when we click on the first p change text function will get call of course i can say here this dot inner html equal to clicked semicolon if i save it go to browser and reload if i click on this you can see the text is changed to clicked if i go back i can also say here first p dot inner html should be equal to clicked semicolon save go to browser and reload if i click on this you can see that the text is changed to clicked click reload click see it is changed to click so there are many different ways in which we can add events to html elements in javascript guys 
फर्स्ट वे इज यूजिंग द इवेंट एज एच टी एम एल एट्रीब्यूट और यूजिंग द इवेंट एज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट और द रेफरेंस and another way is using add event listener method guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to try this yourself okay if you try it yourself you get more clear idea guys if you have any doubts feel free to ask for this video tutorial this much is enough guys if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing Thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial